So AJ, you've only been back in the country for a week after getting back from the World Cup in Japan. What would you say is the biggest thing you take away from that experience? Um, well, firstly, it was just a, an unbelievable experience to, to be there and be part of it. Um, Japan was the first time being in Japan. It's an incredible place, and the, the the atmosphere created by the people and the fans was just like was next level. So, um, I think the biggest takeaway for us is just the, the le lessons learned from the game. Obviously, we were in a, a very difficult pool, um, and. We're, we're competitive, we're just not competitive for long enough, you know, we, we knew it was always going to be a big battle but um, we're just not quite at that level when we come up, up against the, the best of the best, uh, when teams are at their, at their very strongest. So um, there's a lot of progress to be made for, for the USA, I think when we went there, we obviously, for such a rugby not, not being such a big sport, I think putting in, putting in a big performance or being competitive in that pool would, would have a massive impact on, on the game in America and, and the growth of it in the future. I think that is sort of our agenda at the moment is continue growing the game you know we mightn't be progressing as fast as we want or we might be as successful as you want to be but nothing is nothing happens overnight so um, I think the the like best example is Japan and what they've been able to do over the last eight years and the progress they've made and the brand of rugby they've been playing so um, it gets you it gets the fans involved gets everyone on the edge of the seats and that's what we we've got to we've got to create for for ourselves and then for for the fans across America. You came up against Tom Curry uh, during the England game. Obviously, he comes up against New Zealand on Saturday. How do you see him faring in that game? Well, for, like he's he's been phenomenal so far. Um, I think that the whole back row and the English team are have been incredible. And um, after watching the the pace and the width that that New Zealand play with, he's going to have his work cut out to, to be trying to slow down that ball. And if England want to be if England want to like uh, be successful, um, a massive there's a massive weight in his shoulders to to slow that ball down between himself and and Underhill or whoever the the, the back row they go with. So. Um, like he, he's just been phenomenal. I think we've seen him go from strength to strength in the Sale Sharks jersey, and um, for him to step up to the, the step up in England, the international stage, and just be as dominant as he has been, it's just it's incredible to see. So um, you know, wish wish him all the best, and hope, hopefully he has a another man of the match performance. How easy is it for you now to transition your mindset from an international level back to club level? Um, I think obviously I've. I've with the time zones, I wasn't able to watch too much of the rugby, but um, a, a big thing is just picking up what, what's what's new and what, what um, any sort of tactical changes that, that we've implemented or any change of call. So I've got to get myself up to speed. So uh, when I get an opportunity to get back and play, I'm not <clears throat> I'm not sort of um, at eighty percent. You know, I've got to come back and flying because the team is very competitive. It's going to be compet uh, competitive throughout the week to, to get on the, the starting fifteen. So. Um, for me, I just got to focus on, on, on my individual role and, and uh, pr probably sitting down with Deeks and, and JC um, and just just probably just sharpen up what, what, what I have to do because obviously I've been away for f for four months and there, there's been a lot going on. So um, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to catch up for me individually and then and then my role in, in the team as well. So um, you know I'm excited to get to be back and, and to get cracking at it. What were your first thoughts when you were seeing? The familiar faces, but also the new faces as well. There's been plenty of new summer signings. Yeah, I think, I'm sure that I, I, I've been gone for four months, so it's good to catch up with the lads and then meet meet the new guys. But this stage, they're all very well settled in. So, um, yeah, I just got to get up speed and get, like work on my relationships with them because there's so many new faces and getting to know them and um, even just getting out and running out and playing a bit of rugby with them in training is going to be massive. So. Um, there's some huge signings, some some big names. Um, so yeah, it's going to be exciting to get out and play with them. Looking ahead to London Irish this weekend, what are your thoughts on our performances prior to that, and how do you see that one going as well? Uh, I think from ourselves, like so, the, the game against Gloucester is obviously very disappointing, and as dominant as we were in the first half, you know we we would have been a lot happier going in with more points, and just unfortunately. Uh, our our accuracy let us down, and then a, a solid uh, defence from, from Gloucester, and then I think in the second half we just weren't able to continue that dominance. So there was a lot of good stuff, and there's stuff that we need to improve to, to have a more dominant performance. Um, and looking at Irish, I think like we went down two weeks ago. I know there's different teams, but we travelled down there, and we've, we've come away with a win um, before this year. So um, they're off the back of a of a good win in their in their season opener. So um, it's obviously going to be a tough battle, but 
you know, with the with the squad we have, we're confident to, to go down and and be be put in a big a big shift against against them away. So um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting to see how it goes.